Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, today it's uh, time for another video with me Jonas Andersson tying a classic salmon fly. In this video we're gonna do the FG Morgan salmon fly. Um, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, I never tied that one before so yeah why don't we begin okay? Okay so I'm using an 18.0 GSP thread on this one. I <coughs> made it back to the uh, bar. So the first thing we're gonna attach is of course wax, in this case black wax and uh, the first part after that is a gold tinsel oval. I go with a very fine one. I'm gonna tie that one in gentle and also build up a little bit of thread to get the proper uh, body of the salmon fly. So let me just move this one. I can move it here. So this is um, another requested pattern. Uh, I like to tie patterns on request. So if you have a pattern you want me to tie, uh, just uh, send me a PM or comments below in the video. I read all comments. Normally reply to all comments as well. I think that's a good start. So let me move forward with the thread. Now it's time for the tinsel. Tight wraps as tight as you possibly can make it. So going back with the thread. Securing the tinsel. A few wraps. And there we go. Going backwards with the thread again. This time I need to build up a little bit of foundation for the topping. I'm gonna do some wax, light wax this time. Cutting the leftover tinsel. <clears throat> so, topping time. Thank you. 
little bit too long for this hook. shorting the tail better it'll be too long still but hey it's okay and adding a black wax to the thread now it's time for the ostrich horn Sing the thread again. Oops. I think I need to have breakfast. Shake it. Cut the leftover postage run away. Now 
and I'm going to tie in an uh, oval gold tinsel for the rib. It's going to be a yeah, larger size. Securing that one, building up a little bit of foundation for the body. I'm using, well, I'm tying it actually a fishing fly, so no, no frame fly. So I'm gonna just use uh, this one. It's gonna be flat, good in some. Doesn't want to play games with me. So tying it in again. Cutting the leftovers. Wrapping backwards, then forward. So I'm trying to secure on the thread, it's hard to see because I forgot blinding myself. That's the problem with tinsel bodies, you hardly see what you're doing yourself. Moving forward a bit, just tying up the body 
and there's a few alternatives here, you know, claret or red or uh, silk. Can I go with something in between? Touching the silk to the hook, tying the silk in, a few wraps just to secure it. There we are. So I'm gonna secure the silk. Just tying it in. Cutting the leftovers. Now it's flat gold tinsel again. So I'm gonna blind myself. Just building up a little bit of foundation before that. So, waxing the thread. Attaching the tinsel. Go back again, <coughs> cutting the leftovers. Wrapping the tinsel backwards and then forward again and secure it. it 
taking off the leftovers. Flexing the thread again. Now it's time for the oval and goat insert that we have stuck here. Fire brands. There we are, tying it in, securing it. Cutting the leftovers. Now it's hackle time. So I think I'm gonna go with light claret. This one. Can also be red, as I mentioned before. There's a few variations. So tying in the front hack in. Folding the, the feathers backwards. of thread and counting the leftovers. And there we are. So before I start with the wing I'm gonna have breakfast to get my concentration level to the right point. But yeah, that's the start. FG Morgan. Okay, so back again. Time to add the middle wing. It should be ginger cock in larger sizes. I am a trio, so I assume that is larger sizes. So 
so cutting off uh, the hackles. Let us see. Right, adding some bags to the thread. Pairing up the wings again. So right. There we are. Just gonna attach them. As you see, it's spot on. So I'm just gonna make sure the tail is falling off. Yeah. So I'm gonna add a little bit of varnish, let it dry out, and then it's time for the wing. I had the brown varnish, I want the clear one, not the black. So, give it a bit of rest, drying out, and then we can continue adding the wing. So, it's time to mount the wing. Let's see how that uh, turns out. Uh, background noise, my, my dog is eating his dinner. So, let's pair this one up. Here is the wing. So let's see if I can just pull it over. Yeah. So gently 
and make room for this wing. I make it a bit long since the tail was so, so long on this fly. This should be sufficient. So let me just adjust the, the curve of it. There we are. I would say it's quite spot on. Looking at it from this way, spot on. So, yeah, I don't want to adjust anything. I'm happy with that. So, I'm going to wax the thread a few more wraps, then uh, add uh, some additional varnish. Let's continue the video, I don't cut for that one. And then we're gonna add the GC sides. So I'm continuing with the clear varnish. the dog if the food was good. So the only thing I'm gonna adjust is to pull this heckle up a little bit. There we are. Maybe I have some good there. Looks like it. other side. same place Good DC. Let me see if I can find a better one. Now I take a different neck. Yeah. 
Here we are. <laughs> the dog is funny, he normally checks his uh, food bin three or four times before I realize it's actually empty. Let me see if it's going about there. Can we make it a little bit shorter? Lots of noise today. I think the kids above got some new toys. And there we are. So I'm gonna wax the thread a <coughs> little bit more varnish. And then it's time for the last step, the topping. I'm not gonna add any horns on this one. It seems it's uh, you know, up to the tire. So, some more clear varnish. Okay, so uh, topping time. I prepared the topping. So let's see if we can get it in place. So I'm gonna slide it in in place. I would say that's spot on. Not sure what you guys are going to say, but yeah, simple. It's spot on. I think they meet quite nice as I like it. Gonna use the thread here. <clears throat> so what's left here is uh, to varnish a little bit. Uh, first with clear varnish, then cut off the leftover of the topping, then some black waxed and then white waxed thread. Uh, then I'm gonna varnish again and then some black varnish and then the fly is done so um, I'm gonna take a picture when, when ready and add it to the video after this hello everybody so uh, that was basically how we tie FG Morgan um, first time I tied it uh, I had a recommendation of the pattern out of the the Farlos, uh, Salmon Fly book, great book if you don't have it, uh, order it, you can find it at uh, Koshibunda Books or uh, anglerbooks.com, it's the same store, uh, I, I get all my stuff from there, uh, really good. So, 
uh, if you like what I'm doing, uh, please subscribe. I can add an icon here, and also uh, a few other videos over here that you can have a look at. And uh, hit the thumbs up, and uh, yeah, com add comments. You know, anything. I read all the comments. I reply to all the comments. Yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.